Hello, welcome to June 9th, 2023. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily Good Life Meditation video. This exercise is something that I do every morning, shortly after waking up. It's now 4.37 a.m. I do this in order to remember my life objectives and principles, those which are outlined in my book, Going Alone. I also use this time to think about the last 24 hours and how I did with the challenges and opportunities that I met. And I finish by thinking about the coming day and what challenges and opportunities I might anticipate and meet and to pre prepare myself for those as well. Also to uh, ready myself for the ambush, right? the things that happened that I didn't expect that I want to be ready for. Altogether, this creates a, a story, right? It makes a little, like a little tiny little day-long day chapter, 24-hour chapter of my life. And I take it piecemeal, one at a time. More deliberate living, I think. First, last night and yesterday. Slept really good last night. Went to bed on time. Um, just slept all night. I mean, deep, deep sleep and woke with the alarm. I mean, it really seems like those days of insomnia are gone. I just deep sleep. And I feel so good. It's the, the good this morning that I used to feel in my 20s and 30s. Mostly, mostly my, right around age 24, when I took my sleep for granted, when I took my good health for granted, I didn't know any better. Oh, right now, I feel just like that. I feel like I could do anything. The only difference being that my mind is so much more capable now than, than back then. I mean, sure, my memory isn't as good, and I'm not as sharp on some things. Um, but uh, in terms of having a, a, a deep toolkit and, and a giant, a giant um, landscape of memory and experience to, to call on, not to, to, to call from, not to mention the, the, the toolkit of the, of the good life creed and the, uh, the experience of having lived, the going, lived going alone. All of that um, comes together in, in, a, in a very, it's like being a, it's like being a chef. It's like when I was 24, it was like being, uh, you know, a cook, a cook in, a, in, a, in a rude ship's kitchen. <laughs> you know, it's just the, the ship is swaying and, and, and the stove is on the gimbal. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to cook stuff, cook up a can of, a can of chili. And now, even though I don't cook, I've got a, 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 a great chef's kitchen before me and all the ingredients and all the larder and stocks, shelves. And uh, somehow I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Or fa fain know what I'm doing, and that's what it sort of feels like, you know. Whether that that uh, description uh, carries carries the story, I'm not sure, but I, I think I try. I tried my best. So yesterday was a good day, except I, I except I hated it. <laughs> so did Miko. Uh, we it's it incessantly become a topic of our after of our evening walks together. How we're just done with work. I just don't want to do this anymore. Just don't. It's just. It's like. It's like. Being a. a, a I, we we both feel I'm, I'm pulling trying to pull another example out. It's like being passengers and uh, you know, a sixty year old, fifty nine year old man and woman on the Titanic, that are tidying up our cabin as the as the as the ship's coming down right. <laughs> going down and we're straightening up all the stuff, right? Because that's what work feels like right now. I know it's important. I know it's got to be done, but we don't want to do that anymore. Time is short. Let's get out on deck and look at the moon. Oh, what a nice iceberg. <laughs> okay. Opp challenges and opportunities met yesterday. Just had a huge list of things to do for work yesterday. I, I just had so many things I did for work yesterday. And, and I just did them. And the hard stuff, too just powered through like like a I'm full of imagery today in my mind just like powered through like a like a like a what do you call them the guys that work on the used to work on the railroad with the sledgehammer pounding spikes in the in the, in the rails just all day oh one more thing I wanted to, to share um, I'm reading I, before I do this the first th the first thing I do after I wake up after I clean up and make my cup of coffee I sit here and I drink my cup of coffee and I I read poetry. Usually I read one poem a morning and then I start the camera. 
and I'm reading from John Keats' Complete Works. This is a great volume. This is the uh, Penguin Classics, and it's arranged uh, in chronological order, you know, in the order in which uh, the poet wrote them, from his earliest poems all the way to the end. And I've been stuck now. Stuck is not the right term. I've been deliberately lingering for at least a week now on a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six and a half, uh, page poem uh, called um, Standing on the Tippy-Toe. I, I stood tiptoe on a, upon a little hill. I stood tiptoe on a, upon a little hill. First of all, it took me a long time to read because it's full of words that I didn't know, like diadems and larbrum and uh, crisses and sorrel and livers and spangle and state and I didn't know exactly what the etymology of psyche was, uh, so I had to look all this stuff up. Plus, it has lots of good little the bits in yellow here, lots of good bits that, that needed, you know, this page had three of them, uh, lots that needed thought and consideration and reflection. Plus, it was hard to understand. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it, it opens beautifully. I stood tiptoe upon a little hill. The air was cooling and so very still that the sweet buds, which with a modest pride, pulled droopingly in slanted curve aside, their scanty leaved and finely tapered stems, had not yet lost those starry diadems caught from the early sobbing of the morn. The clouds were pure and white as flocks new shorn, and fresh from the clear brook, sweetly they slept on the blue fields of heaven, and then there crept. It just gets better. So I, I really wanted to know this poem, so I've been reading it over and over, day after day, really kind of in like two-page chunks, reflecting on it. And what I've discovered is that it's like like playing the guitar. You know, if you've got a little riff that you want to do and you're teaching your fingers and you try to struggle, struggle at it today. And then every evening I finish the evening as Yumiko's cooking dinner, I sit in the garden with my guitar and I'm, I, I struggle with little riffs. I just make stuff up. And then I have, I have a little tutorial that I can follow too, but I like to make up things. The next day it's a little better. The next day it's a little better. Then one day it just happens and then I don't have to think about it anymore. That's what it's like with this poem. This morning was the first morning, maybe armed with a sharp mind, and I just read the whole thing. Well, I did not the whole thing. I left. I I, uh, I have to watch the time because the dogs are on the clock. They'll want to, their food, so I have to make sure I can finish everything. That's a long poem. So I read, but it just came to me all through imagery. I was just understanding it all. Oh, oh that's how I want to spend my time. I don't want to spend it on that list anymore. I want to spend my time. I want to wake up. Read my poem. I want, to, I want to spend the whole day with poetry, the whole day with walking, the whole day with my wife and my dogs and, and uh, re writing, just doing stuff like that. I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing that work list anymore. That's the impatience that comes. The impatience of getting old and wanting to uh, rarefy life. I'll leave it at that. Let's do the good life. I need to go quick. <laughs> My seven objectives. One, to be always ready to die. Two, to make good and effective use of time. Three, to develop and maintain good and sound life principles. Four, to cultivate good emotional reactions. Five, to perform good actions. Six, to recognize my true limits and true opportunities. And seven, to do just one thing at a time and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. And all of these items, all of these objectives and principles can be found uh, categorically organized and arranged just in the way I'm going to say them, but with detailed descriptions of what they mean in my book, Going Alone, in the chapter, The Good Life. Now, the 34 principles are war, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, principle of nature, the pirate ride, maturity, social principle, Principle of family, public speaking, that's what I miss sometimes. Distraction, agency and the great indifference, but that's the one I miss most of the time. Temperance, life will not go well, the horror show, that which must be born. The feast of Ophel, distraction, agency and the great indifference. Did I say that already? No. <laughs> I don't think so. 
the best seat in the house. The restless man. The path of wildness. The great life adventure. The risk of avoiding risk. Sin and damnation. Complete oblivion. The season of philosophy. I feel like I'm, I've stumbled a little bit here. The season of philosophy. The script writing, the bullseye aim, the uphill climb, arena and utility, nothing is enough in the principle of fun. Eh, so what if I missed one or two? I'll get back on the horse. <laughs> Something else I almost did last day. I was almost pulled the trigger. I wanted to press my wife into pulling the trigger and buying her one-way ticket to Japan. Because for she said, What do you want to buy it for? May first. She looks at me, she says, Kurt, our daughter won't graduate till the end of May. <laughs> You're trying to get rid of her. <laughs> so that's the earliest you can do it. You can buy the tickets about a month ahead of about a year ahead of time. Okay, let's finish this up. The as for the coming day, I don't it's just gonna be a day of work, another day of work. Um I have a couple of meetings. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna power through. Let me see. I'll just, just keep busy, keep focused, do my job, do my damn job that I'm grateful for, and keep at it. And then in the evening, I'll, in the afternoon, I'll walk with my wife at lunchtime with the dogs, and we'll talk. And then I'll walk with her again in the evening, and we'll talk. And then I'll play my guitar. We'll have our dinner. We'll watch our show together. And then I'll go to bed. And hopefully, I'll sleep another good night wake tomorrow, refreshed and ready, with verve and voom, for another day. And with that, I'll say goodbye, I'll say I'll be safe but not too safe, and my life is now done, if not finished. See you later. <laughs>